welcome to Gearbox. You guys want a tour? We like to showcase some of the games we've made, some of the awards we've won. These are from this year, actually. The VGAs, we took home four. Borderlands 2 has done pretty well for us. Hey, you guys want to see the studio? That's where the real magic happens. Of course, the magic happens in the development studio, in the offices where the talent works. And I have the good fortune every day of working with the best people in the industry. And these guys inspire me. Continuing the tour, uh, right behind this door is our motion capture studio. This is where we capture animation, where we uh, actors perform, and we'll get their movements in game. You can get lots of content really quick, and it's very natural, very realistic content. And one of the coolest things about our motion capture studio is it's actually in-house, on-site at the studio, and it's right adjacent to our animation pit. So our animators can come in here and get stuff anytime they need to, get new content. Uh, these guys are best in the world, and they're living the dream because they bring our games to life with the animation that they create here every single day. It's awesome to be part of this team. So this is our focus test room, and we get real people just off the street, uh, different age groups, different uh, backgrounds, uh, different gaming habits to come in and play our games, and it's a lot of fun. And one of the greatest things about being a focus tester at Gearbox is, in addition to being able to play games before they come out, we also like to give you something for your time. So we've got this incredible collection of swag. This is our swag room. I never get to go in here. This is actually like Haley's room. This is where we keep all kinds of cool stuff. Posters, t-shirts, uh, keychains. Hello, I'm gonna destroy you, little robot. Hello, traveler. Hey, what the f are y'all doing in here? This is the top floor of our building. This is where the executives are, my partners, legal, marketing. This is also my office. This is my office right here. It's where I work every day. And this is my desktop PC. This thing's actually pretty badass. So this cooling system is pretty unique in the sense that I found this radiator that lets me run two loops through it. And then it comes through the video cards. And I've got two GeForce GTX 590s. You can even see on the front, you can see what my temperatures are like here on my temperature gauge. I'm running at 32 and a half degrees Celsius. That's pretty, pretty badass system. It can handle a lot. One of the other things I've got in my office are not only the games that that I've worked on that are on the top shelf, but all the systems I've ever owned and all the systems I've ever played games on. So I've got pretty much a history of video games in the United States with all of my systems. Some great stuff uh, over the years. You can see we're kind of going back in time. Uh, in fact, come over to this side and you can see some older stuff. My Nintendo 8-bit. This ColecoVision has had more hours of play probably than any other system here. Man, this is an Atari C380. I had Breakout, Rebound, Pinball. Lots of good stuff on there, and uh, all my handheld systems. Of course, these are my old consoles. The new consoles, the ones I'm actually playing, they're at home. And so there's actually something pretty new that's pretty awesome that I'm really excited about. But if you want to see it, we're going to have to go to my house. Hey, this is my house. Uh, this is where I live. This is the Pitchford house. I live here with my wife, Christy, my son, Randy. The dining room where we eat dinner. Uh, the piano I play for them every once in a while. They hate that. <laughs> and uh, a lot of cool stuff in this house. I'll give you a tour. This is one of my favorite rooms. It's one of the first rooms you see when we get into the place. And you can tell we got a big screen TV, comfortable couches. This is where we watch TV, where we play video games together. Let me show you the rest of the house. Uh, there's a couple cool rooms I want to show you, but one thing is my sniper's nest. And this is a little niche we've got set up with a badass PC. Right now, got a Falcon Northwest Tiki. It's got a GeForce Titan inside, a really badass video card from NVIDIA. And if you check this out, this PC looks like it's playing itself. That's because my wife is somewhere in this house controlling this PC. Looks like she's playing Krieg. Christy, hey! There you are in the living room. It's pretty cool, right? Can you believe you're controlling your PC with that thing? It's amazing. Badass, right? Yes. It's pretty awesome. We're pretty psyched about this. This is perfect for our lifestyle. Anyway, let me show you my game room. My game room is one of my favorite rooms in the house. Uh, obviously, we play a lot of board games here, pool. Uh, great room, great room. My miniatures that I painted myself. A uh, lot of fun in this room. Let me show you something, though, really special. It's a room that we built ourselves. It's kind of cool. You have to see it for yourselves. Let me show you. This is my home theater, and I love this room. We built it ourselves. We modeled this room after the Magic Castle in Hollywood, where my wife and I were married, where I performed. Awesome room, great place to watch movies, to play video games, and of course, got a stage, so as a magician, I can perform for my friends, and that's a lot of fun. 
I should say it too. Of course, the living room, centerpiece of the house, and it's a lot of fun to entertain friends. Honestly, besides entertainment, we don't spend a lot of time in this room, but I think what you want to see is where we play games, where we spend most of our time. Let me show you my office. So obviously, I'm a huge gamer, and I'm in a gamer family. We're all big gamers here, and the reason why I wanted to invite you in my house is because the latest and greatest stuff is what I want to play with. And I want to introduce you to NVIDIA's new project. This is a whole new type of console. This is NVIDIA Shield, and this thing is badass. This is a really great device. It's running an Android Jelly Bean OS, a very pure version of this operating system. It's an open platform. Uh, I can run all of the Android applications. I can operate uh, Tegra optimized games. I can browse the, the World Wide Web. I can uh, use my social media. It's a computer and it's portable and it's NVIDIA's first portable gaming platform. As a device, it feels really good in my hands. I mean, I, I love the triggers. I love the way the sticks feel, the way the buttons feel. This is a really great device just for playing video games. And I've played a lot of video games on a lot of platforms in my life. One of my favorite things about Shield is I can use the PC streaming beta to actually control what's on my PC. So we're playing Borderlands 2 with the new Creed character and what I'm doing on the console here is actually what's happening on the PC beside me. I'm in control of the PC with Nvidia Shield. When my son plays Borderlands 2, he wants to see the beautiful physics simulation that's only possible on these NVIDIA cards that we have on our desktop PCs. Because NVIDIA Shield is connected via the Wi-Fi connection, I can use this in any room of the house. I can play games in the living room. I can play games in the bedroom. I can play games in the TV room, in the game room, in my home theater. I can even take this thing and play games in the, uh, uh, oh, don't come up on me and it, it makes sense that the world's best provider of graphics hardware is capable of doing something like this.